What is going on everybody and welcome back to the Broobly channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms level 46 or the Arabian Desert. This level has one of the most dangerous environments in all of the backrooms and there is evidence of an ancient civilization that once lived here. So with the tone set, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Backrooms level 46 is classified as a class 3 difficulty and is unsafe, unsecure, with a low entity count. But the entities are dangerous. I'm sure you could guess by its name, but the level looks like an Arabian desert from real life and is very hot during the daytime and really, really cold at night. The cycle of day and night is split into three specific parts though. Day and night, like normal, and then the third one is dawn. Each of these parts has their own unique things to them, like when it's daytime, the temperatures can reach up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, or 70 degrees Celsius, which obviously is way too hot for anyone to live in, and the only place to get out of the sun is by hiding in the ruins of the ancient civilization, that has long since left, but I'll get into that stuff later. The nighttime is literally almost as dangerous as the daytime because the temperatures get unnaturally cold. Like I'm talking negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 30 degrees Celsius. So without the right gear, you could turn into a popsicle if you're not prepared. The dawn time is the most habitable time to explore the level because it's a good mixture of hot and cold. It hovers around 80 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or around 30 to 40 Celsius. So it's gonna still be hot, but not as hot as 150 degrees and not as cold as negative 22 degrees. It's also important to note that the level doesn't follow a normal 24 hour day night cycle because it cycles between day, night, and dawn randomly. Sometimes these random cycles can even last entire years and there's a chart that organizes the different times and as you can see it was daytime for six months but then nighttime for a year and then day for three months and then dawn for three years and right now as I'm recording this it's nighttime so you really never know what time it's gonna be when you accidentally get sit here you just better hope and pray it's not day or night unless you want to get melted or freeze another dangerous factor of the level is that there's literal sandstorms that can just start up at any time, daytime, dawn, night, anytime, no matter what, these sandstorms can happen. And when these sandstorms stir up, they bring along the extremely dangerous entity here called the Sand Spirits. These are really aggressive entities that attack on sight. Their only weakness is liquid, which kind of makes sense considering it's a desert, but I still wouldn't want to be wasting my water by shooting a sand demon. That's just me though. This level has extremely rare oasises, oasises? That appear. These zones are not affected by the heat or cold or the sand demons, but the likelihood of you finding an oasis is so low that you probably shouldn't count on it. So throughout this video, I've mentioned some of these ancient ruins of a civilization that used to call this level home. Now I'm going to talk about those people and I'll get into some theories on where they went and why they left, you know, besides the 150 degree temperatures. So this ancient civilization is often referred to as the ancient ones. They're the builders of these anomalous ruins that are scattered throughout the level. There isn't one specific known reason why they left, but it is theorized that something called the cataclysm is the reason that their buildings got destroyed and they ultimately left. I have no clue what the cataclysm is, but I mean, it sounds cool. It's also theorized that these ancient ones are somehow intertwined with the lost. Now the lost are another old group of people scattered throughout the back rooms. They build temples and that kind of stuff too. So maybe the ancient ones left this level and then populated some of the other levels and then eventually became known as the lost. Some of the letters and pictures on the ruins on this level look similar to the lost paintings and pictures and stuff like that. So we're just drawn conclusions here based on the evidence. What is known though is that these ancient ones were actually pretty advanced when it came to charts of the stars and that kind of stuff. There was maps of solar systems and star patterns, things you wouldn't normally think ancient civilizations would know, they knew. The language of these people is actually written into manuscripts and scrolls inside of the main temple on this building. Now this language has not been decoded yet, but there are events drawn that depict something called a quote, higher day or a hot day. And apparently according to pictures and stuff, this day melted rocks and soil and the actual earth itself. 
So maybe that's what the cataclysm is, the hottest day ever, I don't know. I'd leave this level too if it was hot enough to melt rocks, man. The only base on this level is in that temple area I just talked about. It's still partially standing, and it's really the only building that's still kind of together, but Meg Base Desert Rose lives here, and there's around 20 people there. To enter this extremely dangerous level, you can walk 10 miles in level 80, and to exit, you can find an oasis, even though it's rare, and then jump into the water. Or you can find a ruin that just has a random modern day office door in the wall. Walk through it, and you'll be sent to level 4. So yeah, that was level 46 of the back rooms. Only four levels left to go until the several hour long compilation of levels 13 through 50. I hope you're hyped for that one. It'll be the biggest back rooms video, maybe even on YouTube. Who knows? I think you're gonna like it. Thank you for watching to the end and make sure to check below for the links you need, Discord, Twitter, second channel, third channel. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. Make sure to check out my third channel, which is Spoogly. I'm uploading some awesome stuff over there. You guys are seeming to enjoy it. Thank you for the support over there. Go sub if you haven't. Go check out the videos up. There's some SCP content, some Trevor Henderson content, and soon to be some real life cryptid encounter stuff. All things cryptic is going up on that channel. You're going to love it. Also, on Toogly, I got some more Backrooms game stuff planned for very soon. Thank you all for the support over there. We're almost at 30k, which is... <laughs> wow. Thank you all so much for that. Seriously. I know I say thank you every time and every outro, but I, it, it would take infinite outros for me to be able to say enough thank yous for all you do for me. It just I really genuinely appreciate all you do for me. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for following me and continuing to click on the videos, like the videos. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I am in the works of doing Brugly merch. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but I am in the works. I'm trying to get some designs made. I definitely want to have a fall line done for the fall time, Halloween time, so expect that. I will let you know first thing as soon as it's released. It's going to be awesome. You're going to enjoy it. If you're still watching, I want you to comment down below Desert Brugly. Because that way, if you comment that, you're going to get a heart, and you're definitely a real one for continuing to watch to the end of the video, and I really genuinely appreciate you for that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.